Okay, everyone, this is my spoiler review of X-Men The Animated Series Season 3, Episode 9, Obsession. This originally came out September 24th, 1994. Thank God in this episode, compared to the last episode, we're back to the original intro sequence and things feel normal again because the last episode, as I had talked about, was an episode that came out way later when the show originally came out because the animation was behind in it so it's nice to kind of feel more in the normal flow of the show watching this episode but it really just opens with archangel is just insanely angry here like the title of the episode he's obsessed right he's obsessed with getting his revenge on apocalypse almost to the point where it's a little nauseating with archangel and how angry he is in this episode i wish they almost toned it down just a little bit it's kind of funny how he's having archaeologists just looking at all these fossils and they're just getting him angry because they're all still saying that apocalypse is invincible he's looking for a way to find out a weakness to take down apocalypse but this is where a scroll shows a spot that if you pierce apocalypse he will be no more so it seems like this is setting up way down the line not even in this episode of how eventually they will take down apocalypse for good but it's pretty cool too when we go with the x-men i love seeing that professor x is using all this she are technology he's got the circuitry using in cerebro they even have this shiar probe that is used to find apocalypse's ship and beast actually uses shiar goggles when he's in the ship and it also shows through shiar database research they can use in different locations so i thought that was really cool to see it's also interesting in this episode there's a rare moment we get cyclops actually wearing the same exact type of jacket that Rogue always wears. I thought that was interesting. I thought it looked pretty cool in it. Now, Apocalypse has some really good lines this episode that are just iconic when he's fighting Archangel. And when they first meet in the New York Harbor, he's like, return to me, O sweet death, my horseman, and all shall be forgiven, reminding you of the role that Archangel had in Apocalypse's life and that he was his slave. And when the X-Men show up to this fight, maybe one of my favorite rogue moments of all time is her just rolling into a bowling ball and hitting Apocalypse. I thought that was so great. But what's nice is Rogue can feel deep down because she was the one who sucked the life out of Archangel, what pain he's really feeling and that Warren Worthington is still deep down there in him. And you see that back at the mansion, Archangel saying to Rogue, no pain will ever equal the pain Apocalypse caused me. While Gambit's watching this protective of Rogue while he's twirling a card, which I thought was pretty cool, how they did actually the visual effect, the camera effect, where it was like cutting back and forth out of focus between his face and the card. Now, Professor X remembers about this ship they find that Apocalypse has that it is a living vessel open to reason, and this will trigger something in Beast. He gets excited about this. This is a solution to stop apocalypse and it sets up what is the special thing about this episode to me is the relationship of beast and the ship and the ship becomes a character a very important character and bonds with beast and we get a lot of cool dialogue with the ship and beast and the voice acting performance of ship here was great as her voice would get weaker and weaker as she was losing energy which made it all the more tragic and we also get some funny wolverine moments here like always and i love the moment where beast is like wolverine stand over there on that platform and he's like cool but i ain't saying and cheese. But Hank finds he can use this platform as a trap for Apocalypse. And the ship, we'll see, starts helping him. Helps to prevent an original bomb that was going to co- go off on them. And then Beast traps Apocalypse on this platform. And the ship even says that it feels new sensation of satisfaction, I thought, which is nice. So you see as it's going on, the ship is more aware of how awful Apocalypse is, even just as an owner. And Apocalypse has a great villainous line here where he's like, Beast, how many people have dreamed of my end? You are no closer than the Babylon Babylonians with their swords and fire sticks and also reminds you how far back Apocalypse goes. But Apocalypse uses his own override code and gets out of the trap and has another great line where he's like, I'm the rocks of the eternal shore, crash against me and be broken. So some of the better writing for Apocalypse compared to his first appearance in this show. Another great rogue moment with Gambit here is when Gambit catches Rogue, who actually brings him to the ground. He says, Shit, maybe you cut down on that fried chicken, no? That was so great. Line of the episode. Now, Ship will inform the Beast of these emergency controls. And she says, I thank you for this moment, Beast. You made me understand I could choose. You made me feel. This was really good in the standout part of this episode. I also love when Gambit gets trapped behind the wall because now he's going to save Warren. So he's coming full circle with understanding Archangel that we see Wolverine's just swiping the wall rapidly trying to get in. I thought that was hysterical visually. 
and Apocalypse is ejected into space. He's like, I shall return, but obviously he's not killed. And Archangel, as frustrating as he is, that continues here because he's still having a tantrum. Like, after all this, he still wants Apocalypse dead and just leaves the X-Men. So it's, it's just a frustrating watch sometimes. He's awesome as a character, but his personality in this episode was just, oh my God, just makes you roll your eyes. And Beast says, ship, ship, are you all right? And the ship says, goodbye, my friend. Little tear will come down while you're watching that. So the strength of the episode, like I said, is Beast and the ship in a great voice performance for the ship that really makes it for me. And we got some really cool action with Apocalypse in general and Apocalypse best lines to date in the show so i'm gonna give this one an 8.2 i think it's solid not one of my favorites not one that i'm always gonna remember but still really good and it felt like the show was back on its nice natural rhythm with funny wolverine moments touching moments great moments with rogue and gambit and really cool technology being used by professor x now from the shiar empire so really am enjoying this show and i think this is definitely a big step up from the last episode so i'm gonna give it 8.2 let me know what you thought down below i love to hear your thoughts i read every comment try to respond as many as i can hit that sub button and if you're on tiktok make sure to sub on the youtube channel it's very important it'll help me grow and i'll see you next time